Freeriding is the new trend in winter sports. More and more people are seeking the mountain freedom it provides. The movie Freeride Deluxe investigates the fascination of deep snow from various angles. In this episode, we'll show you all the different kinds of snow and why the powder is the best to ride in the backcountry. The best example for this fact is Damuz, who won a prize as the snowiest village in the world. It's because the moist air from the northwest hits the northern edge of the Alps first, so that means Damuz, or the Vorarlberg side of the Arlberg. The air masses are forced to rise, the moisture inside them condenses, and snow starts to fall. Depending on the amount of moisture and the temperature, all kinds of snow crystals can form. Dr. Norbert Spann from Tyrol has photographed the basic shapes and listed them in the so-called snow crystal thermometer. My favorite snow is this here, champagne powder. Champagne powder. <laughs> it's a very dry, airy, powdery snow. As much as possible and as loose as possible. Actually, I don't like the snow when it's too loose. I prefer it to be a bit more compact. Otherwise, you simply fly out of the turns. Whether it's on skis or on a snowboard, whoever's tried out fresh powder snow never forgets that feeling. At that moment, you know there's just nothing better. For me, it's just total perfection. You get this kind of floating feeling. Yeah, you're floating in midair, more or less. The interplay of the laws of physics, new and wider freeboards and skis, plus more than 90% air inside the powder snow all produce that magic floating feeling. With a wider snowboard or a wider ski, it takes longer until all the air has streamed out of the snow at the sides. So the wider the board, the better the floating feeling. The latest innovation from the industry, snowboards and skis with rockers that are shaped like bananas. The rocker helps the ski to float and you get an even better hovering feeling. With a larger angle of attack you get more buoyancy in deep snow. With normal skis you increase the attack angle by shifting your weight, whereas rockers increase the angle by means of their design. Sunshine and powder arouse positive emotions in us, emotions that can sometimes blur our perception of things. In freeriding, danger isn't perceived as something threatening. A snow-covered slope doesn't automatically ring danger bells with us. An abyss or a big drop when you're climbing a rock face they're different. That's where you get an intense sense of danger and risk. Snow, in contrast, seems very safe and familiar to us. And that's part of the complexity. On the one hand, we can't recognize the danger just through a gut feeling, while on the other side, it's very hard for amateurs to assess the risk of a slope. Sophisticated strategies and a lot of experience are required to minimize the risk.
Also wenn man sicher unterwegs sein will, ist Planung überhaupt das Wichtigste. Zu einer guten Planung. If you want to ride safely, planning is the most important thing. And good planning includes checking the avalanche report and the weather report before selecting a suitable route. Mit dem Wetterbericht, dass man so eine aktuelle Wetterinformation hat und dann natürlich Information über meine Route. The first time I enter a region, I'm always extremely defensive. That means going up the mountain and starting off by just looking at it. If you want to leave the safety of the piste, you have to know what you're doing. When choosing a route, you have to consider how steep the steepest sections are as well as the exposure of the slope. Mit den Informationen plus dem aktuellen Wetter- und Lawinenlagebericht With the information, you get a good idea of the free ride area. Although the final decision on whether you'll ride a slope is usually only made once you're up there. Dann wirklich immer erst vor Ort getroffen werden können. Wir haben die ganzen Unfälle ausgearbeitet von 20 Jahren und da sieht man, dass We analyzed the accidents over the past 20 years and it turns out that 90% of them could have been avoided if the following strategies had been relied on. With danger level 2, you should never ride steeper than 40 degrees. With level 3, no steeper than 35 degrees. And with level 4, you should stay below 30 degrees of inclination. With this simple formula, with 2 not above 40, with 3 not above 35, and with 4 not above 30, you can avoid almost 90% of all accidents, and that's a pretty impressive tally. Be sure not to miss the last part of Freeride Deluxe, where we jump back to the contest scene next time on Rebel TV.